Oh my god, my brain explodes. Oculus introduces version 28 of their software, introducing Airlink, a complete new way for you to play Quest 2. You can now wirelessly stream your PC VR games over to your Quest 2. What an unbelievable innovation. Or should it rather be, oh my god, Facebook does it again, completely copies a competitor's software, driving out this competitor using their monopoly. Now, of course, what you think about it, it's for you to decide, but I simply wanted to make this video coming out of my break, still working on the MRTV project here, but for this, I really wanted to come out because I know what's happening again. Like so many people are going to hype the shit out of this update without even mentioning what it means for the competitor virtual desktop, Gigodin, the guy who's actually sold so many of the quests because people wanted to have this kind of feature. So now let's look into this. So virtual desktop, an app made by Gigodin, which will allow you to look at your desktop, at your PC desktop in virtual reality. Fantastic functionality. And well, this functionality was already copied by Facebook and they also called it virtual desktop. Okay, there was already like one blow, which was not nice, right? Then Gigodin, he introduces the ability to wirelessly stream your PC VR games from your PC to your Quest. Amazing feature, real innovation and worked and still works really great. But Facebook says, no, you can't have this on our store. We restrict you, we don't let you do this. And let's have a look why they didn't allow him to have it on the store. So Facebook's vice president of augmented and virtual reality, Andrew Boss Bothworth, discussed the status of virtual desktop with Upload and in that discussion he says, one of the challenges with virtual desktop is that we can't know what your Wi-Fi connection is like or how it changes and so we couldn't guarantee a good experience and that was why we had limitations on apps like this shipping in the store. Now, in hindsight, with Oculus rolling out this Airlink feature themselves, it seems that what Bosworth said that was simply a load of bull. I'm sorry to, yeah, to simply say it like this, but well, let's have a look at Facebook's rollout of this Airlink and what they say. Now, this is the Facebook blog post introducing Airlink. And in this blog post, they say, while Airlink is an experimental feature, not every network and PC setup will be ideal. So of course, Facebook has exactly the same problems that virtual desktop face with people not having the right setup, not having a fast Wi-Fi connection, and probably not having a great experience. Let's read again what else Bosworth said. Virtual reality is new and we want to take it mainstream. What we found is that people would try virtual reality once and if they had a bad experience, they would not be so easy to get back and try it again. So it was very important to us that when people tried virtual reality in Quest, they had a great experience. Anyways, let's read what Guy Gondin, the developer of virtual desktop, has to say about Airlink. Godin made the following statement to upload VR. In 2017, Facebook copied the base functionality of a virtual desktop on Rift and incorporated it in their platform, essentially making my app obsolete. I'm not surprised to see them do this again on Quest. They copied the fitness tracking app Your last year and released Oculus Move, essentially killing the company. They also released App Lab as they saw how popular SideQuest was. That's what they do. If you have a popular app on Quest today, expect Facebook to copy you and leave you in the dust. As for the fate of a virtual desktop on Quest, we will have to see how Facebook's solution competes. Judging by the number of issues plaguing Oculus Link today, I'm confident virtual desktop will remain a valuable solution for a while. I've also got a lot of cool features in the works that I can't wait to share with the community. So I needed to come out of my video break here on MRTV for this video, simply because I know you will be bombarded with hype videos about version 28 of the software and these videos not even mentioning that, well, this might be a little problem that Facebook simply is copying, ripping off and driving out the competition 
with their quest and also well using their monopoly and i simply wanted to give you that alternative view <laughs> yeah of this of this matter i would call it yeah so that's why i came out of my little break no worries i'll be back <laughs> yeah for lots of videos here but simply i first have to finish this exciting project that i can't wait to share with you other than that, if you want more insights into this whole problem of Facebook copying the competition and then driving them out using their monopoly, please do check out the last episode of the Next Dimension podcast. We had Six Liv as a guest and Six Liv is the CEO and founder of Your Fitness, the very app that was copied one to one by Facebook, calling it then Oculus Move and driving out your fitness tracking app so do check out that two hours episode of the next dimension podcast and i'm going to link it down in the description of this video all right and now i'm going to go back to work on my project i can't wait to share it with you now if you enjoyed this video and if you're happy that somebody will talk about these kind of issues these kind of controversial issues then give it a thumbs up and do share this video on your social media with your vr friends so that at least they hear another part of that story about version 28 of their software and of all the people who now are going to shout out in the comments oh sebastian you're a facebook hater you hate the quest i can tell you no it's not true i don't hate facebook but I do not enjoy and I do not support these kind of business practices because I deeply care about the virtual reality industry. And I believe that this actually hurts our favorite industry, right? Like if there's like one dominant player and this one dominant player like tries to kill all of the competition, this can't be good for our favorite industry. All right, that's it for me. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode of the Next Dimension podcast. And of course, in my regular videos, once I'm done with my project and once I can tell you what this project is all about. And I can tell you already, sorry, it is not the MRTV headset yet. <laughs> all right, see you soon. Bye-bye.